here. So proteins can only be synthesized by proteins. This fact is deadly strong to Darwinism. It is essential for there. It is uh, essential for there to be DNA and proteins in order to make protein production and a fully equipped cell. <clears throat> the fact that Darwinists are unable to account for a single protein completely eliminates the theory of evolution. So that is a very powerful evidence. I want you to memorize that. You can use if you come across any Darwinist. Tell them, for a single protein, other proteins must exist. And that defeats Darwinism at the very beginning. Darwinism is dead. Now, you see a major city over here, metropolis cities. You can think about Istanbul, Paris, London, then Hong Kong. Of course, a city like this, it has high-tech factories, it has refineries, pipelines, transport systems, security systems, or gates to enter and exit the city. If you check a single cell, human bodies, your bodies are made up 100 trillion cells at least, 100 trillion cells. If you check one of them, a single a cell is 100 millimeter in size. The, we see that a single cell is more complex than the largest city of the world. It has a huge data bank, genetic information, it has high-tech factories, it has nuclear power stations, technologically more advanced, than the most advanced nuclear power station of the world. It has transport systems, it has pipelines, security systems, and gates to enter and exit the city. So as you see over here, the cell has many organelles. If any one of these organelles fails to function, the cell cannot remain alive. Therefore, the first cell on Earth was necessarily a complete cell, possessing all these required functions and organelles. And this definitely means the cell had to be created. And in fact, if you check the fossil record, fossils are the remnants of the living beings which lived in the past. So if you check the fossil record, we come across, for, uh, to the, uh, we come across the first cell, a cyanobacteria fossil from Australia Chert region, which was published in many scientific magazines. We come across the first cell, which is a cyanobacteria, and do photosynthesis. It appears all at once, fully formed, possessing all these required functions and organelles, and this definitely means the cell is created by Allah. There is no way the cell, the cell can emerge step by step. There is no way, because it has, has to have all these organelles intact, at the same time, in the same place, and this is another deadly stroke to Darwinism. Shows us Life cannot emerge by coincidences, as Darwinism claims. And in fact, life is only generated from life. Each living cell is formed by the replication of another cell. Therefore, the first life on Earth must have originated from another life. And that is Allah's reflection epithet of Hai. Hai means the owner of life. Life can only start continue and end by his will. And this is called biogenesis in the biology. Life only, can, life only comes from life. Allah says in the Quran, I seek refuge in Allah from a cursed Satan. It is he who originated creation and then regenerates it. That is very easy for him. His is the most exalted designation in the heavens and the earth. He is the Almighty, the all wise. Creation belongs to Allah. So now we have seen Life to emerge by natural events, by chance, blind chance, as Darwinism claims is impossible. Life is created by God, by Allah. Now the second question was, what are the mechanisms of evolution? According to Neo-Darwinism, which is the mainstream argument today, there are two imaginary mechanisms of evolution. Natural selection and mutations. And these are, they say, two complementary factors. So. What is natural selection first? Natural selection holds that the living things which are more suited to the natural conditions of their habitat will succeed and produce an offspring, those which unfit will vanish. Take the herd of deer. If this herd of deer is threatened by the predators like leopards, jaguars, or tigers, of course the ones which run faster will survive. That is true. 
However, no matter how long this process goes on, there will be only faster running deer. It will not transform deer to other species, such as horses, because natural selection cannot change DNA by any means. Natural selection only eliminates the weak or sick individuals from the population, but it does not have evolutionary power. It cannot change DNA by any means. It cannot increase the genetic information. It cannot add new genes, new proteins, new organs, and it cannot transform species to other species. And mutations, which are accidental changes in the DNA, can only generate pathology and asymmetry. You see, these living beings are all pathological and asymmetrical because of mutations. Mutations only can harm the complex information in the DNA. Charles Darwin, he was aware of this fact that natural selection has no evolutionary power, and he admitted this in his book. Darwin said, natural selection can do nothing. You see, he says, natural selection can do nothing until favorable variations chance to occur. And as the cause of these favorable variations, neo-Darwinism has had to add mutations in the 1940s. What are mutations? Mutations are accidental changes, random changes in the DNA of the living beings, changing the places of the letters, insertions, or deletions. And mutations, these accidental changes, are caused by external harmful effects such as x-rays, chemicals, ultraviolet radiation, or during the replication of the DNA. We know today, scientifically, 99% of the mutations are harmful, and only 1% of the case, mutations are not harmful, but they are not useful either. So they are neutral. <clears throat> this is what mutations does. There is no beneficial mutation. A two-headed cat caused by a mutation. Flies, which cannot fly because of a mutation, and their flying systems are all being damaged. Or you see another mutation caused two-headed turtles, or extra fingers, or asymmetric pathology in the living beings. For example, in human bodies, there are known more than 10,000 genetic diseases caused by mutations. Mutations generate pathology, and asymmetry, and death. So, Darwinists, they have that experiments to find out if there is any beneficial mutation. Do you know how long did they do that? For more than 60 years. For more than 60 years, millions of dollars spent all over the world. And they radiated fruit flies and the bacteria and generated millions of mutations to see if there is any beneficial mutation which adds new genetic information. You know what happened? They all failed. Not even one mutation they could show can be beneficial to the living organisms. They radiated the fruit flies more than 60 years. These fruit flies, they got blind, they couldn't fly, and they got sterile and they died. All of them. There is no beneficial mutation which can increase the genetic information because Allah did not create such a mechanism. There is no mechanism which can add new genes to the genetic information. DNA, there is only mechanisms when DNA is being copied from generation to generation, and there is mixing up the genetic information which already exists in the DNA, but there is no mechanism which can add, add new genetic information to the genes, to the DNA. That means there is no evolution. Allah says in the Quran, I seek refuge in Allah from a cursed Satan, mankind. An example has been made, so listen to it carefully. Those whom you call upon besides Allah are not even able to create a single fly, even if they were to join together to do it. And if a fly steals something from them, they cannot get it back. How feeble are both the seeker and the soul. So basically these darkness, they try to create a different fly species or different species. But Allah says only Allah can create, even, they cannot even create a single fly. Only Allah, creation belongs to Allah. Now, Richard Dawkins is the number one evolutionist of the world and a militant atheist. According to Darwinism, since there are millions of different species in the nature, there's supposed to be, according to Darwinism, there has to be 
trillions of different beneficial mutations, which generated millions of species. And Dar uh, Dawkins is one of the defenders of this. So out of these so-called trillions of different positive mutations, Dawkins was asked in this interview to give a single example of a beneficial mutation, of a positive mutation, which can increase the genetic information, it can add new genes. One. He says there are trillions of them, Dawkins says that. And he was asked, can you give us one example? Let's see what he says. Professor Dawkins, can you give an example of a genetic mutation or an evolutionary process? One example. That can be seen to increase the information in the genome. Let's see what his answer is. It's supposed to be trillions of them. See? No answer. And he stops the recording after 20 seconds. Because there is no beneficial mutation means there is no evolution. So does Dawkins know that? <coughs> he knows better than anybody. But the reason why Dawkins defends this Darwinism nonsense is not for scientific reasons. He, this is his religion. This is a false pagan religion which goes down to the time of back to the time of the Sumerians and the Pharaoh of Egypt. Pharaoh of Egypt said the same thing. He said the living things emerge out of the mud of the Nile River. In the 20th century, people said the same thing. So Dawkins knows very well, better than anybody else, Darwinism is a nonsense. The reason why he defends this Darwinism nonsense is to keep atheism alive. But this is not science. This is not scientist. He is preaching a pagan religion. So he's a pagan priest. 